You know how everyone using the Facebook ads library swears by it. Imagine if Google had something similar, but better. Well, it does, and almost nobody knows it exists, even agencies. Most advertisers waste time guessing what their competitors are doing, but what if you could literally see every ad they're running across search, YouTube, and display? for free. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to use Google's Hidden Ads Transparency Center and how to use it to spy smarter, spot gaps, and build better campaigns. I'm John Langley, founder of Click Convert Marketing with 20 plus Google Ads experts. We've generated 1.5 billion in revenue for clients. Yep, that's a lot of zeros. We've offices in Santa Rosa, Wine Country, San Francisco, and Wrexham. Yes, Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney, world famous soccer team. It's just down the road over there. The video was delayed by the end of month team, burger, pizza, and monthly review over a few beers. As ever, the pizza is awesome, guys. Right, back to the good stuff. So, why spy on competitors? Simple, it gives you the edge. You see how they position themselves, what offers they push, how often they test ads, and where they're likely wasting money. You're not copying, you're spotting gaps, learning what works, and making smarter moves. It's strategy, not snooping. Good point there, guys. The Google Ads Transparency Center is Google's answer to ad transparency. It looks and feels a lot like Google Ads Library, I'll admit it, but it covers more, including YouTube videos, search ads, banner creatives, and shopping listings, and maps as well. You can access it in three ways. Just directly go to the URL, it's ads.transparency.google.com. Second, if you see a Google ad on search, YouTube, or display, click the three dots on the, on the little menu and choose about this ad, and then click see more ads. Quick note, this does not apply to shopping ads. Uh, it only applies to text ads. Third, you can just do a search on Google for the Ads Transparency Center and follow the link. Each has its pros and cons. For example, clicking through an active ad lets you see the actual account name they're using, which often can be different from their trading name, but I'll cover this a bit later. But just using the ad tool isn't enough. You have to look at what the tool can really do, and I'll show you some of the additional tricks to help you spy like James Bond. Okay, I'll begin with going directly to the Ads Transparency Center. You can see three options and a search box. Choose your country to begin with. In our case, we're gonna choose the United States, or you can choose the United Kingdom. Once you're there, you can search for any verified advertiser by name. I'm gonna start with the United Kingdom and have a look at an advertiser called Corset Story. Instantly, you can see all of their recent ads across all formats with filters of country, date, and platform. Great. We can track creative changes and we can spot if they use in dynamic ads or keyword insertion, clearly they are using keyword insertion, and performance max. This is usually indicated by the reuse of uh, copy across the platforms. But more importantly, you can see what offers they're running, how they structure ad copy, how often they test their creatives, and what messaging seems to gel and hook people in. Looking through the ads, it's clear they're using keyword insertion. And not only that, they appear to be using dynamic ads as well. So that gives us some insight. Now, let's change the advertiser to Underfloor Shop Limited. Scroll to the bottom and there's a link to see all ads or it will all keep auto scrolling. You can filter by platform to see what they're testing, drill down to see only YouTube apps, for example, banner ads or search ads. We can set the date range to track when campaigns launch as well. So it's pretty handy that. Let's change, let's type of continue this. Clearly, uh, Underfloor Shop Limited, they're type of running on more platforms. We can see some very familiar ads here that indicate their running performance max, not just shopping or performance max with empty asset groups, just with pure listing groups. I happen to know a lot about this market, and like many advertisers, 
search struggles to convert here and I'm really surprised to see them not focusing more on shopping listings. I would say their campaigns have a low ROI. I would say they're wasting considerable sums on display and YouTube ads. And if they analyze their account, they might have some surprises. Now, even though you can select Google Shopping as a platform in the tool, I feel it's a weak research tool and could be better. My hack is to go and make a Google search and then click the shopping link and that will take you over to the shopping area. And on the left hand side, we can scroll down to seller. If your competitor isn't in the short list of sellers, select more and you should be able to find your competitor. Just click the checkbox and it will filter by that seller. This approach gives a far better shopping view and in particular, the range of products that your competitor may be retailing. Now, back to the transparency center to find hidden advertisers. Do you note that when we search for Underfloor Shop Limited, the website was click hyphen mate or climate, but that's not what their actual legal name is. If you search for Demon Tweaks as an example in the Ads Transparency Center, I cannot find them. Often advertisers don't appear under their trading name, rather their legal name. To solve this, let's go back to a Google search. I'll search Demon Tweaks and we can see their ad appears. Now, the clever bit, click the three dots and then click see more ads. Immediately, we're back in the Google Ads Transparency Center with their ad results. We can see that the Google Ads account is uh, listed as DT Automotive Limited. Limited is how we say ink in the UK, same type of thing. We can see more ads. You can immediately see that as a European advertiser, they're using the Google CSS shopping comparison service. Theoretically, this is supposed to give advertisers a reduction in cost. In the real world, good luck finding anybody that can prove it. What we can do here is find negative keyword gaps. Back to the ads tool, they do appear to be very shopping focused. Flipping the channel options to YouTube reveals they don't appear to be running any video ads. Shopping and text ads often run with the same body text on YouTube, which may indicate also they're running performance max campaigns. Now, here's one of the most powerful uses for exposing competitors to see if they're wasting money. Let's return back to a Google search and type in demon tweaks again, and we've got an ad. Now, let's add or throw the search term free or used onto the end of their brand name in the Google search. And what we see now is there are no ads. So they are using negative keywords. That's a good sign. Well, for them it is anyway. Yeah, tr let's try something else. Let's try a popular brand like StopTech for breaks. There we go, Demon Tweaks shows an ad. Yet, if we nip over to their site, and put in stop tech, there are no stop tech products. We can see that they are actually wasting money. They're wasting money on ads for products they don't actually sell. This would indicate that they have a weakness with their negative keyword strategy and are probably wasting a ton of money on wasted search terms. As you can see, the, the tool plus a few hacks does reveal an awful lot about competitors. If you're auditing a client or preparing a pitch, this gives you the edge. You're not guessing, you're showing them exactly what their top competitors are doing. So are there any issues with this approach? Yes, there are. And there's one big catch, only verified advertisers appear. So if your competitor hasn't gone through the Google verification progress, process, rather, their ads won't show up, even if they're actively running ads. Still, for larger brands, national advertisers and fast growing uh, direct consumer brands and some B2Bs, this tool is a gold mine. So that's the Google Ads Transparency Center, massively underused, it's incredibly powerful. If you feel this video has helped, please uh, drop a like, subscribe and comment below with the brand maybe you'd like to break down, it all helps to grow the channel. Oh, nearly forgot, we have an amazing new business growth consultant joining the team in San Francisco, Kenneth Myers. He's worked with us all before and now he's 
back in the family. I call him Kenny. Uh, we're based down in the financial district at 149 Montgomery. To celebrate Kenny's return, I have a special offer. If you take a Google Ads review with us, we'll review your search terms and give you a free negative keyword strategy that contains all the negatives you need to use and you can just drop it in your account for free. It genuinely saves a stupid level of spending. It's really, really efficient. So if anyone needs assistance in the Bay Area, hit Kenny up. Uh, for full disclosure, we do have the whole of the United States as well. Uh, many of you already know Callum, whose work is out there doing that. Uh, for the UK, we've got Sam Reynolds, fresh back from Dubai last week. And you can always get the team at clickconvertmarketing.com as well. So see you next time.